all your midlife crises are manifesting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely guy, Neil, um, who'd been restoring cars, my cars, for me, just as a customer for mm. years, in his little workshop just outside Hereford. About four years ago, I went in, and we were chatting about stuff, and he was a bit down. Is he all right, mate? He said, well, no, not really. Um, they're, they're developing the workshop. There's nothing I can do. I'm losing the workshop. Oh, what's a disaster. I need you to do my cars. So <laughs> I said, well, you can't just work for me. I'm not Jay Leno. And anyway, there's no dignity in working for some tart off the television and one day decides, I don't want to do any cars this year. And you have a job. So um, why don't we set up a little business together and you can do my cars as part of that. And then I thought, hey, that might make a nice little TV show. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it did. But then... You see, I'm an idiot. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, I agreed too quickly there. No, I, mean, no, I, didn't, no, I didn't even flinch. <laughs> it's true. I just, yeah, okay, we've established that. 36 years working in radio and TV doesn't, it turns out, prepare a person to be a manager of a workshop. Oh, really? really? Funny oh, that. It's no transferable skills. Funny that. Not at all. It's not relevant. It's just not relevant. So I'm rubbish at it, but I grew the thing to be too yeah. big. So mm. we start this series really starting to feel that. It's costing a fortune to run the business. I have sunk fortunes into this. Thing. Oh, man, it's just it's embarrassing. We've gone too far now. We've gone mm. it's, well, exactly. Mm. Um, I'm not going to say how much in case my wife's listening. <laughs> it's fascinating for me and to everybody that grew up watching, you know, you, the three of you on Top Gear, how all your midlife crises are manifesting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, in there. You're, you're not holding back on well, 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 Jeremy, you know... <laughs> having a midlife. No, no, no. It is a midlife crisis. <laughs> well, Jeremy bought a farm. Yes. Uh, you bought this workshop. James May, you know, I've had him on the show a few times. Strike was a man who was born in the middle of a midlife crisis. Yeah, I think he was born <laughs> age 56. <laughs> He's been growing into himself. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And recently he passed the age he was, and then he settled that. Oh, it's, it's, it's odd. Yeah. James May now seems to be the, the, the one that's doing the least weird stuff now. It's all gone full circle. Could be right, actually. <laughs> Could be right. <laughs> it's a, a, just, a, just something I've noticed. I yeah. thought I'd just point. Something I picked up. Radio X.